Hey guys, this is Sam, and here's how you get iOS 10 right now. To preface this video, I want to say that I do not recommend installing this on your main device, and I know you might really want to because there's so many awesome features, but I don't have this installed on my main device for a few reasons. Number one, although it's the most stable major iOS beta I've ever used and it works fairly well, it doesn't work well enough for me to warrant running it on a daily basis just yet because we're only at developer beta 2 in the cycle and it's not even going to come out till September or in the fall sometime. Also, some third party apps, just because of the way iOS 10 has been upgraded, don't exactly launch. A lot of them crash on launch for me or crash in the middle of me using them, which is super annoying. Like my Bank of America app, I can't even use it on iOS 10. So it's just something to keep in mind if you're planning to install iOS 10. And before we get into it, you'll always wanna back up your iOS device as well. iCloud works, but I would highly and strongly recommend backing up through iTunes, just because that way almost all of your data will be saved if you ever change your mind and wanna go back to iOS 9. But let's start by heading over to this website and it's a really easy process. In fact, you don't even need a computer, you can do it all from your iOS device. Once you are at beta.apple.com, tap here on enroll your device. It's probably gonna ask you to sign in using your Apple ID. And once you've done that, you'll see this page. Scroll down and then tap here where it says download profile or install profile on my iOS device. It'll shoot you over to the settings app. You'll have to hit install one more time and probably enter an iPhone passcode if you have one set up. Once you've done that, you'll have to do a quick restart of your iOS device and it's not quite a full reboot. It's just a mini restart to install this profile and make sure everything is solid. Now you can head back over to the settings app once your iOS device has restarted. Tap on settings, general, and software update, and you'll see that you can now quickly install iOS 10 public beta one. Now I'm not gonna go over the entire process of it installing because that would just be you watching the screen and a progress bar loading for four, five, six minutes. I don't know exactly how long it will take, but it'll probably take a while to download and install just because it's a major upgrade. If you guys have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear them down below. And for more content on iOS 10, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any future updates. This has been Sam with iUpdateOS. I hope you have a great day, and I'll talk to you later.